Did I ever have had a movie review of Coke the Chucky? I don't know if I had the review about it. I don't know if I ever had the review about it. I made so many videos. It's hard to keep a track of it. So I guess I'll just do another one if I did do a review about it. Now, this movie is awesome. And, um, Colt and Chucky is probably one of the best Chucky movies. It's probably my favorites, to be honest. My favorite Chucky movie. <clears throat> and it has the great twist at the end of this movie. Um, you know, this has the best twist in it. You know, I like how they do something different. You know, um, I might do a few, you know, Child's Play reviews today. But, um, this one right here, I'm doing the review first. I just feel like reviewing this. I want to talk about this one the most, for some reason. Now, this movie, I felt like should have been in theaters. This movie had better quality. It it didn't even feel like a low-budget movie to me. It, it really didn't. And you got Andy back, Andy Barkley. This movie came out last year, I know. But Andy Barkley, you got him back. You got Nika back from... Curse of Chucky, of course, and you got Tiffany back, um, and plus, this takes place in a mental asylum, and I like the scene with Andy at the start of the movie, it shows him a few, quite a bit in this movie, though, but the beginning when he tortured Chucky, Chucky's head, you know, it's crazy, but this film right here is a good movie, and plus, I like the concept of three Chucky dolls that came alive, I love that scene. I would love to see three Chucky dolls come to life. That's just amazing. And, um, excuse me, um, and also it takes place in a mental asylum. And then you also got Andy back and Tiffany back. And plus, you got three Chucky dolls that come to life. And then also it takes place in a mental asylum. What more do you want? Plus, you have a good twist at the end. Plus, you never seen Chucky go inside another. Body, human body before that's the first time you ever saw that so um this film right here is amazing 10 out of 10 for me it's one of my favorite slasher films of all time and um I liked how Chucky when he gets inside Nika's body I mean some people don't like that but I do because it's something different something that you didn't expect cause you never seen Chucky go inside it. he'd been trying for years Trying to get inside Andy's body and it didn't happen. It didn't work. So it finally worked on Nika. Finally went inside Nika's body. And it gives you hopes. High hopes for a Chucky 8 or TV series. Every TV series coming out. I kind of don't want that. Because if it's on Netflix. I don't got Netflix. And Netflix costs a lot of money when you buy it. I just can't afford it. And if they just stick to a Chucky 8, I would have been more happy with that, so I could just buy it, or go to the theater and see it, if they release it in the theaters, but this film right here is good, it's amazing, it's so different than the rest of them, it has a different feeling, and Chucky's one of the best horror icons, just like Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, the rest of them, you just like them, I mean, he ain't no different. But the only different thing is he's a doll. That's it. But he's still one of the most amazing horror icons ever. And I I pissed off about that freaking reboot. I mean, at first I thought, yeah, this could be freaking awesome. This is going to be amazing, y'all. I can't wait to see this reboot. But guess what? Like, or remake or whatever. But guess what? To fucking it up. Do not use no Chucky. Because you know. Look what they could have done. If they use Chucky in a remake. You know how good they can make it. They can make it freaking. um Probably better than all of them. Because they can make it darker. They can you know make it as good as the originals. And stuff. But. They're not doing that. They're freaking having an electronic doll. That's from outer space somewhere. Get stoned down, then the freaking kids see it and they're like, oh my god. Stupid. 
But um, if I was gonna do a remake, I would have made that thing way darker, way darker. I would have made it so scary because I got too much ideas. If I had the money and but the money for the budget of um for like you know good camera work and all that stuff. I would have been definitely wrote the script by now, and I guarantee y'all, if I did a fan film of a remake, Child's Play remake, I would freaking make it good. Because um, I would use Chuck, and I use the person. I would, I would make sure I, I find the person that sounds exactly like Chucky or closest to Chucky voice, and then use them to um, do the voice to Chucky. But. It look like they're fucking the shit up by doing electronic doll ain't nothing to do with Chucky. But this movie right here is good. Very good. And you know what's crazy about this movie? This movie has mixed reviews. I'm not even joking. This movie had the most mixed reviews I've ever seen on the internet. Because in this movie, you got people that love the love this movie so much, and you got also the other people that hate this movie so much. And I'm one of them that love this film. Cold and Chucky. This movie is amazing. 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10. That's the way I give it. 10 out of 10. And, um. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for me. And the case looks good, too. It looks like they could have put it in theaters if they wanted to, but I wouldn't mind seeing a Chucky movie in theaters. If, like if number eight ever came out and then they put that in theaters, I'm going to go see it. Literally. It's like I'm going to go see The Nun. I'm going to have that re review of The Nun three days after it comes out. So keep in mind, three days after the 7th or somewhere in the 7th. I'm going to um, have the review about it three days after it comes out. So it won't be as packed in the theater. But get that out the way. I love this film so much. Love it. Love this film. And I might watch it again since I'm talking about it. I haven't seen this movie in a while. This movie is just amazing. Loved every second of it. Alright, now I guess that's it for this one. <laughs> and if y'all enjoyed this review, please hit the like button and subscribe and share. I guess I'm out of here, everybody. I guess I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace out.